guys and welcome back to another episode of the Luxury Home Show with Tom and Jazz. Today you're joining us in Holton, which is a brand new town right next to Rugby. I'm going to pop a quick map up on the screen so you guys can get your bearings as to where we are in the UK. Now the property we're going to be showing you inside today is the show home behind me named the Leighton. It's part of David Wilson's development in the town Holton. It's got four double bedrooms, three bathrooms and has just over 1,600 square feet of interior space yeah it's got some great interior design in there david wilson do a great job of incorporating loads of space as well to make it a really practical home it's listed for sale for just under five hundred and forty thousand pounds and tom and i are going to take you inside so let's go We're inside the property now, gonna pop a quick floor plan up for you guys. We know you love them. But yeah, we've got this entrance hall here, little boot section, stairs to my left, kitchen to my right, and Tom is just near the living room. We're gonna head into the kitchen first, so let's go. So we have an open plan kitchen and dining area. We'll start in the dining area. We've got this really nice setup, eight seater table, gorgeous light above, and we've also got this lovely bay window bringing in loads of natural light. It's so warm in here as well, so it's greatly insulated. Yeah, very energy efficient. Yes. They're all EPC, B or A. Obviously, the cost of living at the moment is quite high, so that helps out a lot. Definitely. And then we've got this kind of half wall in between, which divides the two sections really nicely. I can just imagine passing stuff over. It's yeah. It's just quite... Makes it feel a little yeah. bit separate, but still includes the chef while you're cooking. And still very roomy. So here we are in the kitchen space. Once again, tons of storage. Uh, David Williams, they do a great job of kind of maximizing storage with their designs. So you've got the utility cupboard opposite and that's got tons of storage in it too. It's a symphony kitchen. Symphony kitchen, yes. yes. Well done for remembering that. But we've got these quartz worktops here. We've got a really nice like kind of duck egg theme going along with the painted cabinets. We've got induction hob, extract fan over here. We've got the microwave oven and oven too. Nice kitchen island here with the wood. We've got kind of shelving this side, the bar stools this side, and Tom. Yeah. They have the bum indents. Oh yeah, extra comfy seats. Yeah. Yeah, we like those. We do. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, dishwasher here, wine cooler. We've also got the ceramic tiles on the floor too. Some nice down lighting too coming yeah. from those units. Yeah, there is. It's really good lighting in here because you've kind of got double aspect. You've got the doors out this side yeah to the worth, garden yeah but it's worth noting it is kind of triple aspect because you've got windows on both sides yeah so you get even more light coming so in. you get like a light well at that end of the yeah. kitchen it's really bright in here but yeah great space we've also got the fridge oh <laughs> fridge here fridge loads underneath. of storage yeah and then extra storage so it's really great but come on back through tom okay i love the chandeliers in here but coming on into this room We've got the lounge space. Now it's super cozy in here. We've got this massive L-shaped couch in the corner, rug and carpet on the floor, so it's so soft. And yeah, we've kind of got this triple aspect going on, more access out to the garden through here, window, window. So you've got, once again, loads of light flooding into here. You can kind of tell we've got a bit of a woodland theme in here with the wallpaper, the photos. It's very outdoorsy. They make a huge effort with their developments to include lots of kind of green space around. Yeah, they actually, in 2021 alone, created the equivalent of 333 football pitches wow. of green space inside the developments. That's for their customers insane. to enjoy, so it's pretty cool, right? That is crazy, that's so good. And I like this mirror, it looks like a window. It does, doesn't it? So we kind of, it looks like you've got windows on every wall. Yeah. Yeah. So through here, we have a kind of study option. Once again, kind of a nature theme. We've got these lovely, like, got like garden tools. Yeah, very floral, floral theme in there. Yeah. Another window bringing in loads of lights, soft carpet. You could have this as like a study or like a playroom or a nursery yeah. or something like that. Great it's to be able to work from home though. So yeah. yeah, it's good space. Yeah, I like those shelves space. as well. I know, I love these. I was just, I like how they kind of, you can put the boxes on. <laughs> and then here we have some extra storage and behind me, a nice downstairs WC toilet. We've got the distorted glass as well, so you can't see in and a sink. Yeah, you got those sort of half wall tiles in there again with that sort of yeah. yeah, outdoorsy feel. And yeah, as I mentioned before, we do have storage here. I can imagine, you know, it's great to put your hoover in downstairs. This is a really practical and great family home. And yeah. yeah, absolutely. Should we check out the bedrooms? Let's go. Let's do it. Now we're upstairs. We're going to take you into the principal suite first. It's a very large, spacious double bedroom. We've got 
double aspect windows as well, keeping it nice and bright in here. A mirror at that end as well, which helps just sort of reflect that light around. This bed seems massive though, right, Jazz? It's huge. And then we've got a seat in front of it as well. Nice. Very convenient. I like the sort of splashes of yellow in here. Mm -hmm. A bit different. We have a dressing table there as well and some nice lighting above the mirrors. So it works. It's mirror as a... storage, isn't it, Tom? Yes, well, that's it. And so it works as kind of like a, a dressing room, walk in wardrobe mm. type feel with these lighting here as well. It's very convenient. And then we have an ensuite through here as well with the, uh, the Johnson tiles in all of these bathrooms up here. And that's grey theme, especially mm. with the, yeah, the grey wooden floor. It looks great, doesn't it? Okay, so out again and into the second bedroom. Another great double bed in here. Oh, we've got this yeah, hanging light like blocking way, my head. So cool. It's cool, isn't it? Oh, a bit further away. <laughs> that was further away than I thought it was. Yeah, it's very unique fitting there, almost like a Moroccan style. Yeah, sort of prayer bead the type thing. Yeah. And we've got mirror storage at the end that Jazz is as well. Very deep storage, loads of mirrors on there. We have another storage cupboard in here in a very unique shape. Yeah, it's like half. This would make an incredible hide and seek spot. I used to have one of those in my room. Yeah? When I was growing up. Did you hide and seek in it? Yeah, all yeah. the time. Knew it. And then, we, yeah, we've got two windows in here as well. So again, it keeps it nice and bright. All these rooms have got lots of natural lighting as well mm -hmm. as cool lights above, like these chandeliers. I love them. Two more of these. We have a family bathroom in here to my right. So we'll poke our noses in. Again, with a sort of wooden floor, and we've got the half tiles in here in grey all the way around. These seem like feature walls almost because we've got a yeah. splash of yellow and a nice decorative piece on the wall as well above the bath, which is awesome to have in that family bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel that that's very necessary. So it's yeah. great they have that and loads of space in here as well to hop out and get yourself dry. Mm -hmm. So very practical. And then we've got the shower in there too with that folding door. Lovely. Nice. Another chandelier above me. And then, which one should we go in, Jazz? Uh, left. Left. Go in here. So this is slightly more of a feminine setup, I feel, with the design of this room. We've got the, the floral theme again, so a very natural vibe in this house, which is cool. I like the wooden touches as well to this room with the storage behind Jazz and also the lights hanging over the bed too. That headboard's cool as well. Yeah, the thing I love about the interior design in this is like you said, you've got the nature themes throughout, but each room takes has a different take on it. Yes, yeah, their own little spin on it. And then we've got a view down to the garden there as well, which is awesome. Yeah. But yeah, should we uh, head across into our final bedroom, Jazz? Let's go. Now, this bedroom's very special because we are in rugby. So, as you can probably tell already, we have a strong rugby theme in here. Just 10 minutes away into rugby is where the sport was originally created first by William Webb Ellis during a game of football. Oh. Where he picked up the ball. And... Oh dear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and now, yeah, we have the sport, so makes sense that they've decorated this room nicely yeah and that rugby theme i love the stripes yeah the sporting all stripes all. going all from one end to the other this cushion's one of the nicest touches i think it's like a jersey cushion oh yeah and then we've got the yeah the number on the wall as well as well as this great storage for his <laughs> rugby bits yeah but being this close to rugby it's great for commuters. We have the train station just 10 minutes away from here in rugby as well. We've also got easy access to the M1, M6, literally five minutes away. I think David Wilson are building a gym, aren't they? Yes, it will be yeah. only a few minutes away from here. So there'll be a gym here too. And also there's a school within the development. So that's within, pretty cool too. Yeah, but there is actually access to other schools as well, like Hillmorton, Ashlawn. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a bunch of other great schools in the area. Yeah. So really good family home, this. Definitely a great spot for it. Yeah, absolutely. But I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with us for this tour. Make sure to like and comment below whether you like seeing these new build tours. We can bring you guys some more. Um, and yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.